I bought a stylus pen to draw on my old iPad 6 Gen for much cheaper than Apple Pencil. Let's take this stylus for its first spin to see if it stands for what it promises. The stylus comes in a solid and well-made package to begin with. Let's open it. Here is a congratulation registration paper. Then there is a manual. We'll look through it in a sec. A couple replaceable nibs for the tip of the pen. USB-C to USB 2 charging cable for the pen. And here is the stylus pen. Feels good in my hand. The stylus is touch activated. Just touch the cap of the pen to turn it on or off. 90 minutes of battery charge gives 20 hours of working time or 90 days of standby time. That is a manufactory promise. Let's charge it and see. And there is a light indicator of the status. Oh, and have charging time for 20 hours of work is great. Now let's see if this stylus pen actually works with my old iPad. The pen should work without Bluetooth. Let's turn off the Bluetooth connection to check it out. The iPad software should be updated. Yes, it is. The option to draw only with Apple Pencil should be off. Off it is. And um, that's it for the setup. Basically, the pen should work right out of the box. Let's try to draw something. Here I use iArtbook app. The palm rejection works. The tilt feature works. I don't see any lagging while drawing lines. Now let's do some basic tracing sketching of my dog. The pen picks points precisely, way better than I did it with my fingers. The pen does not offer pressure sensitivity. And I like it, this way I won't damage the iPad screen. I enjoy sketching with this stylus pen. It really feels good. Let's make this sketching short. I bought this stylus pen on Amazon for about $25. Check the links in the description to the video. Like it? Have fun and happy drawings!